With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is when a particle moves with a constant velocity, its average velocity, its instantaneous velocity, and its speed are all equal in length into. And the reason is if the average velocity of a particle moving in a straight line is zero. Okay, if the average velocity of a particle moving in a straight line is zero in a time interval, then it is possible that the instantaneous velocity is never zero. So we have to find out whether uh, these statements are true or false, or uh, whether the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Okay. So uh, first, we'll talk about. Uh, the assertion statement. So this statement says that a uh, particle moves with a constant velocity. Okay, so what is constant velocity? So constant velocity means constant velocity means a particle is having a constant magnitude. Okay, so whose magnitude is constant. And and its direction is also constant. Okay, then only a particle can have a constant velocity. Okay, so uh, in this case, let us say that the constant velocity of a particle is v. Okay, so this is the constant. Velocity. Now, uh, what will be the average velocity in this case? So in this case, average velocity is going to be equal to the constant velocity. So why? Because uh, the magnitude is uh, same, it is not changing, and the direction is also not changing. Uh, therefore, the average velocity is going to be same as of the constant velocity. If we talk about the instantaneous velocity. So what instantaneous velocity? So instantaneous velocity is instantaneous velocity is a velocity at a instant. Okay. So if a particle is moving with a constant velocity, then throughout its motion, uh, the velocity is going to be same okay it won't change therefore the instantaneous velocity will also be equal to v and that is is equal to v average that is equal to v instantaneous okay and if we talk about speed so speed is what speed is the uh, okay so speed is our uh, distance distance upon time so if the distance is going to be same uh, then the speed is also going to be the same because there is no change in the direction so therefore the speed is also equal to the uh, constant velocity that is equal to the average velocity that is equal to the instantaneous velocity so therefore the first statement is correct okay now we have to uh, uh, we have to find whether the second statement is correct or not. So in the second statement, it says that if the average velocity of a particle moving in a straight line is zero. Okay, so if the average velocity of a particle is zero. So to understand this, we'll take an example. Okay, so suppose. Okay, suppose this is a body which is moving with the velocity v. Okay, so uh, this is its initial position okay so this is its initial position and then it moves in this direction and after a while okay so after reaching to this point suppose this point is a and this point is c so after reaching to this point c uh, the direction of this particle uh, inverted okay or uh, it moves uh, it, it it starts to move in the opposite direction then again this particle will reach at the point a and uh, 
okay its final position will be at the point a so suppose now this particle reach again at the point a and uh, it is having a velocity in this direction so now we have to find out what is the average velocity in this case so in this case uh, the average velocity okay so in this case the average velocity is going to be so velocity is uh, displacement divided by time so if we see that the displacement of the particle is zero because it uh, it start okay so the particle started from the position a then it uh, went to the position c then again it uh, revert back in the position a so the displacement of the particle is zero therefore the average velocity is zero in this case okay so average velocity v average is equal to zero in this case but uh, the statement says says that the uh, statement says that the instantaneous velocity will not be zero okay so this is the statement okay so uh, then it is possible that the instantaneous velocity is never zero so uh, the statement says that the instantaneous velocity will never be equal to zero but if we see okay uh, in, in the example that the uh, particle is moving with uh, with velocity v at position a and uh, when it reaches to position c so at this point okay so at this point at the point c the velocity of the particle the velocity of the particle is going to be zero then only it will be able to change its uh, uh, direction in the uh, opposite way or or then only it can revert its direction so at the at the point c or at the position c the velocity of the particle is zero therefore the instantaneous velocity at point c okay so instantaneous velocity at point c is equal to zero so that's why this the second statement is false or wrong so the answer of this uh, question is option three okay because the first statement is true and the second statement is false thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today